My, matter, my adjournment matter is for the Minister for Roads, and the action I am seeking is for the Minister to acknowledge and respond to the letter I sent him on October 15, 2020. On behalf of trucking industry stakeholders and to commit to meeting with them to discuss their concerns around the performance-based standard scheme. The PBS scheme offers the heavy vehicle industry the potential to achieve higher productivity and safety through innovation and optimised vehicle design. The PBS vehicles are designed to perform their tasks as productively, safely and sustainably as possible and to operate on networks that are appropriate for their level of performance. The basic principle of PBS is matching the right vehicles to the right task. Currently, an application fee is charged for each bridge along the requ requested route which, is the P which the PBS will, vehicle will be travelling. As well as this bridge assessment fee, a fee must be paid, and the fee can range from up to, from $1,200 to in excess of $55,000. Victoria is the only state in Australia that charges such a fee. The Department of Transport currently treats every PBS vehicle as a new vehicle, despite the fact that a new vehicle might be identical to in every aspect to a vehicle that has already been assessed. Even a new vehicle that has only very minor differences to a previously approved vehicle shouldn't need to be treated as new. Whilst the nature of PBS is that vehicles are bespoke, the fact that virtually identical vehicles are not treated as being the same, meaning the application goes through this costly and lengthy bridge assessment, is nonsensical. Similarly, the cost situation, the length of time these assessments take, is concerning. The bridge assessments are generally desktop based rather than physical inspections. As such, I do not see the reason for the length of time being taken to conduct the assessments. An improvement in the processing time, bridge assessment costs and overall acceptance of these newer, smarter and safer vehicles will not only aid the conduct, uh, reduction it, sorry, will not aid only the con, a reduction of congestion around Melbourne, but it will also enable the move more less for less slogan that has been Vic Road's motto to be correct. The flow on will be more local manufacturing of these innovative vehicles and with that comes more employment. The efficiencies of these vehicles that uh, provide moving product to market for farmers, be it dairy, be it beef, are enormous. Minister, I ask that you respond to the letter from the industry stakeholders. They are hurting and they need your assistance urgently and these vehicles are an improvement. They're better for our roads, they're safer and they cart product more effectively. So at a time post-pandemic, more than ever before, let's get efficiency and productivity on the front foot for Victoria. There'd be a change for uh, the Labor government to think like that.